Hello, welcome back to you can see I opened the door by accident and it's kind of like a bad thing because they have guns over there. I thought they are mindless, mindless maniacs, but no, they're actually quite sound of mind. Someone touched us. Covered our places with our scent. Someone from the outside did it. Some outside. So let's just wait over here behind the wall. Oh, what is that gun? Fourteen points of damage to to me and my server armor. But I guess we are we are doing okay. So now what do I do? Oh, this does such a lot of damage. Twenty-eight to thirty-one damage per time. That's spray. That was actually a very nice flame mobility. I think I like the flame floor a bit. Okay, so that is dead. I think the combat is a little better than it was before. Now, Sandler gets shot at point blank. But it doesn't look like that gun does a lot of damage. Q. And another Q. Time to be pewed again. Pew and one more pew, please. Oh, no more pews. Yeah, I'm not sure I build my character right anyway. I was just doing it as I felt it was right. But it seems like it's pretty good. Anyway, I hope I find more companions that are more combat center because I want to be my I want to make my companion of Jack of all trades. And I hope the game allows me to do that. You are already dead. <laughs> And, well, I guess some of them will have more interesting items. Ellen O'Brien. I'm not really finding a lot of medkits, which is kind of worrying. They're finding cookies. Yeah, that was a fun ability. But suddenly I think, yeah, it's one flame of fuel per shot, and this one can hold two shots only. So I guess the drawback is that it's, well, it's going to be very hard to reload and very hard to find ammo for it. Well, on the other hand, I have a lot of ammo for it outside of the base, if I really need it. Just finished. So we went in there, storage room number two. Blue wing employee, I guess you can scan them, remember, scan, scan, scan. Also, one thing I really wanted to get for my character, I don't know if it will be important or not. I think it was over here under survival. Well, I don't remember where it is. Without companions. Oh, what? The chance of lucky find is doubled. A lot of the survival stuff is very, very good looking at this point. Because we can find lucky treasures. A relic expert for one more slot. I still don't know what the bag of hammer is. I search for the stuff and I don't really see it anywhere. Why is it under influence? Well, I have to unlock conviction because that's the only way I'll be able to convince people to do stuff. If I add muscle, it will be intimidation, charisma, it will be charm, and barter, well... <laughs> for every... I guess we'll never have barter, but I hope we'll get enough money. Clear commands. Melon servo shell. And what is that thing I was looking for? Innocent looks. <laughs> anyway, doesn't really matter. I'll just have to do it another time. It was okay. It was something to do with the research, with uh, scanning, giving you more stuff. Why stand uh, here under tech? Damage, your life will 
There's energy damage. Yeah, that's interesting. Get one more perk. That will also be interesting, Tinkerer. Okay, improve scanning, perception six. One additional knowledge point. That means we'll have more, um, more stuff to do. More points for us means more trading options, which will mean more stuff later on. I'm not sure that how useful that will be. Anyway, let's continue playing. I was looking at the perks and I saw a lot of interesting stuff as well, but most of them are weird. Because you have to build your character a very specific way. And I'm not sure what is better to just dismantle the item or sell it. 250. Let's just strip it down. The electric car. Oh, okay, I guess that's worth it. Sorry about the longer introduction while I'm searching for that perk. But I guess bulletin board is the same thing. I guess it's all a matter of choices and people will prefer to play the game two or three times to see all of them. And I'm just trying to do everything in one run. No, it's the same thing. Also, I went to bed and I, you know, used the shower and all of that. I, I, but I have to do all of that again. Oh, finally, we have some good items. Uh, remember that we're not actually wearing any hats. Learnability too. Well, I guess it's small bonuses all around, which should be nice. Melon contraptions, finally. A good pair of gloves. Yeah, now I wish I would have bought that backpack. When I had a chance. Control room, I guess. Uh, no, I guess we'll have to enter the control room first. <laughs> I like how all the signs are kind of damaged. Large container. I hope there will be something more useful than before. Night experience for that alone. Just open the door, okay. Now we have to speak with the Magellan Center before we go downstairs to the relic or to the excavation site. Unlock. Up link. Okay, other than that, it seems we have mostly. Oh, interesting. We are mostly done with this place. Control room. And that's kind of it. I don't remember those guys in the conference hall, we might have to fight. But I am ready for everything. Yes, we have to fight. Looks like we do quite a bit of damage to the armors as well. I think that other guy might have a... oh. Yeah, he has a weapon, but it's not so strong. There is outside radiation Someone passed through here, scattering their light around. Hmm, I forgot about that person with the gun. Now this is becoming more dangerous. Okay, I guess... Yeah, one of the things I don't like about the game is that you always have to be full health. Let's go back, let's... Let's heal ourselves, be full health, and then come back over here and sit by the door. At this point, playing on Classic becomes a little more dangerous than usually. 
I mean, that's not such a bad encounter, but I think the problem is with all of these encounters, you'll be up against more enemies, which will just, I don't know, drain you of your stats, especially because I'm not very healthy. Actually, how do I have so much health? Like, well, I guess we have a bit of... A bit of strength, a bit of muscle on ourselves. I don't know, maybe I'll... Maybe you should play the game with a very balanced stat. Like having 5 everywhere, so or 6 everywhere, so you can get that perk to get one more stat point everywhere. Wait a minute, where am I? No, I guess we're supposed to go in the hallway. No, not here. Actually, we need to come here as well. How much fatigue did I... Eh, it's not worth it. Uh, like I said, you might need to play the game with a very balanced set of stats. In order to get more stuff, but I just wanted to roleplay a little bit. <laughs> Where is that healing station? Why am I so lost in this place? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, the game definitely needs more icons. You, you don't even see the icon for the healing station over there. And of course, the ability to click on the map over here and go over there. Well, I guess if you have a lot of buffs, your health will always be very high. Professional medical assistant status. Well, that's the thing about robots. They will always help you, right? As long as they are programmed to do it. <laughs> I mean, this place is so unique in terms of building, and I hope they, oh, I don't know, manage to capture the same feeling later in the game. Now, what other weapons do I have? Will it, will it better to equip the princess? I don't think it will be better. So, what does the server shell give us? Arbor class. I guess the energy will be better for the servo shell, energy damage that is. Then maybe I can switch to the fire bug, at least for this encounter where the enemies are so close to us. Ah, okay, go over here. So does calling for help cost more points for them? It might. <laughs> Looks like they have a lot of initiative. Yeah, I have to use that one for the smaller guys and for this guy. Well, I don't think it will be... How much HP? 77. I don't think it's worth it to use any of the other abilities as of now. Suspect something. Something is not working right. <laughs> he looks... What? He teleported? Tranquilized. One hundred and seventy experience. Wow, that's as much as destroying a turret. <laughs> and that thing is really stacking debuffs on me. Now let's turn. Yeah, let's turn into. Let's turn him into shish kebab. Or actually, let's save some of those points for later. Some of that ammunition. Pew pew pew. Someone touched us, covered our places with their scent. 
Uh, I guess I'll have to go and rest after this battle as well. Hey, but no jamming. Oh, that was so close. Mm, okay. Imagine playing this game without the servo shell or playing this level without the armor. By the way, how do you... How there are traces and fractals. Traces and fractals. How expensive is to change the weapons during mid combat? I really want to see that shotgun blast. Hmm, I'm not sure how much HP that cost. Point blank shot. Boom. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. Someone from the outside did it. Some outsider. Someone touched us. Covered our places with their scent. Oh, I just got exhausted and dropped dead. Well, that's a mechanic I'm not sure I understand or appreciate, or like for that matter. Okay, then let's kill them faster. Yeah, I was not really watching my fatigue. I mean, I was pretty war... I was pretty confident in my ability, but I was not really watching my fatigue meter. Where can you see your fatigue meter? I guess that's one way you can die, but still. Someone passed through here, scattering their light. Did it? Some outsider. It's not really holding. Not really holding that machine gun or some machine gun, right? A grenade would have been amazing right now. Eh, let's forget about it. Let's just hope the gun doesn't jump because that would be a terrible thing. Ouch. <laughs> hey, he just teleports behind me or in my flank like that. Well, it looks like something is drunk now. I might have hit a critical last time. Oh, because of the tranquilized. Okay, I have to finish this fight faster. But it's weird that they don't keep track of your fatigue like it's HP. <laughs> I might die again from the fatigue. Okay, it said mild fatigue. I'll have to sleep one entire day after this battle. <laughs> Why are you coming into melee range? Oh, now it jams. Of course it jams. What is a fight without a jam? Like I said, I think the fight, the chance to jam is kind of like 10% per combat. Even though the weapon itself says it has a jamming chance of 3%. How funny would it be to drop dead after the combat? Okay, how fatigued am I and how fast will I die? Well, I might die very soon, so in order to prevent that, let's have a warm cup of coffee. Now what? I guess if you don't black out in the middle. <laughs> really? Okay, I guess we woke up. Okay, it's an interesting mechanic. I guess you don't die. Oh, that's a lot of scrap.
Mercury. Search heap of corpses? Oh, so you can search them as a whole. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, I, th I think you can sleep a little later. The fatigue is manageable if they allow you to rest after a battle like that. <laughs> we just collapsed. Okay, sorry about that. I was enjoying that for a moment. Let's hack the public terminal first of all. Then why hack it? Oh, finally some medkits. They do give you the medkits, I see. Let me system lockdown. I lifted the lockdown. Okay, looks like we might have to do something else over here. Or we can just speak with the video phone terminal to get contact Magellan. Remember, white noise on the screen is we have a mission from this guy. Blackness and a remote echoing yeah, Kingsley. adjusts his glasses. Come in. C12 Nashville. Kingsley speak. Oh, that's you. Good to see you. Kingsley clicks his retractable pen and shifts closer Report. to the camera. Report. The silver jots something down on a sheet of paper. So they're no longer a danger for the rescue group. A rescue group. Very good. As you can see, people will get rescued, so I'm not sure if it's the best option to kill everyone, but... Yeah. Kingsley seems to perk up a little when he hears of the maelstrom. Did you examine it? Was it moving? Actually, never mind. Anything else? The chief officer listens to the casualty report without interrupting. Once you've finished speaking... If there's anything else I need to know, you may add it to your report. If you describe recent events, Martin De Silver wipes his forehead with a silk handkerchief, fidgeting. Good. Director Kingsley flips a page in his notepad, nervously tapping his pen on the desk. Duly noted. Well then, the news is unsettling. But what about the crew? Have you found them? Kingsley presses his palms against his temples. I beg you. Don't put yourself at risk unless the situation absolutely calls for The chief officer puts his pen on the... I'm sorry to hear that. Do continue. The director sighs angrily. When the investigation is underway, I'm certain they'll ask me why I deployed someone like that for the task. But what do you want me to do about the orange? I don't want to kill him or something like that. The white is the helping silver us. Jots something down. I don't doubt for it. The director makes a note. Once your report is over. First of all, I need to apologize. Martin wipes his glasses with a red handkerchief. Okay, okay. Your report <laughs> seems to suggest we're facing something incredibly dangerous. I always tend to follow my instructions to the letter. In this case, the instructions say you should stay where you are and wait for rescue. But sadly, I know what we're dealing with. And Kingsley puts his glasses on and looks at the screen. I'm sorry I couldn't give all the details. Nashville is a high security facility. But I guess that's not important anymore. A certain relic resulted in what you are witnessing right now. In the last couple of days, we've been receiving reports of staff suffering a rapidly deteriorating mental state. And now everything's culminating. The silver sighs raggedly. <sighs> Take action. Go down to the excavation area and find this relic. Bury it, disarm it, destroy it. Do whatever you think appropriate. I'll send a rescue team right after we're done here. But regardless, act. Do not hesitate and good luck to you. Well, thank you. That's actually a very... <laughs> I mean, you can tell that it's kind of like a joke of a dialogue, especially because you can send a rescue team right now, but hey, let's wait. The broadcast is inter... I'm not sure why we need to report on everyone, I mean, team is basically down there, but I think 
Uh, for the sake of the gameplay, I will, have, I will try to release him or let him go away, even though he has nowhere to go. Yeah, I'm not sure what's the best thing to do. But for now, let's just go and sleep a little bit. They knew what was going on, but they still didn't send them. I mean, this one doesn't make sense at this point, Team Ginsburg. I don't know what to do with him. Oh, good day. Oh. Have a good one. Well, I guess we have no resolution for him. Nothing. Hmm, okay. I guess we'll leave it at that for now. Intense fatigue. Yeah, let's sleep until evening. Also, that's how you exit the servo shell. Okay, we seem to be doing what okay at this point. Let's go heal up and maybe eat something or, I don't know, maybe buy something to eat and then we'll go down the elevator to the excavation site, which is probably the most dangerous site in the entire facility. <laughs> yeah, we solve most of the problems with our guns. I don't know why, but I remember this part of the game having more skill checks or something. Okay, let's walk away. Let's also go over here. And let me see, I guess we first we have to eat. Actually, let's eat something from our inventory and then we'll craft. No, no. Shoes, soda. Patulent and very salty food. 155. Champion, ready meal. A medium rare steak and spicy sauce, baked potatoes, and surly salad. Mm -hmm. That sounds delicious, and it actually looks like that. Parents ready meal, beef talk, base, tomato soup, zucchini stew. Lucky cookie, well I guess we'll eat that down the belt item. I can put the lucky cookie in my belt. So how many times do I have to drink? Two times, okay. I think the survival aspect of the game is underrated. I didn't know it would be so good. Self confidence, charisma, initiative, it resist. Very salty food. Okay, we are ready to go to the final place in the Nashville base. I hope I finish it in this video, even though I doubt it. That combat really took out a lot of uh, took out a lot of time from the video. But I guess we also had the dialogue and some other stuff. Let's see if we can talk to these guys again. I mean, Tim is over there. I I don't know. I might not be doing the right thing, but I want to leave him alone. Maybe he'll escape and have a better life under the dome. Oh, hello there. Also, I didn't check my experience. Did I get a lot of experience for that dialogue? Eh, probably not. Okay, let's also put detoxification. Let's 
Let's put the medkits on the tool belt as well. Scanning, I guess I can. Wait, let me check something. Can I actually scan down people? No. Unless the option appears, you cannot scan them. Weird, they seem to do the same thing. Scanner and scan. Okay, I guess some things I don't understand. <laughs> I really say I don't understand some things. I can also heal myself with first aid. 70% of max HP, 100 fatigue. Uh, I can also cure radiation. I have to remember to use ballistic calculations. I kind of like the character development. This is actually a little better than it was before, especially now that all perks and stuff is working. Base, muscle and guts, plus level. How much guts do I have now? Nah, well, I guess I'm pretty average at that point. I'm not sure about these other abilities. I mean, what to invest in? You have so much good stuff to retain the ammo casing after fire. That's also pretty good waste reduction. Three more experience for exploring a location. All of these uh, survival things are so good, like the relic slots, like the treasure of hunter ability. And also get the criminal ones. Let's see. Mistakes and eh. paint. Huh. Throw a wrench. So, does it really throw a wrench or it's, it's throwing my weapon? It breaks your weapon. I'm not sure about that. The cobblestone to grenade, sleeping spray. Laser. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that because of the gloves I have so much, but it's not going to help me. Okay, let's load the game. Oh, that was a big mistake. Yeah, I should have looked at the color of the skill. I think I saved before I said I wanted to go down. Yeah. I had one more Vega machine that was not broken, but I guess it will have to do. <laughs> we left one, al I mean, we left the vending machine for the rescue squad, of course. And yeah, this will be a longer episode. I don't want to break up the action too much. We might do it because this is also be kind of a bigger area. And the, the actual excavation site is outside over there. Okay. Yeah, we'll do this part and then the relic excavation site will have to be in the next one. So let's go to the left side first. Is that a crazy person I see over there? No, he's not. He's not crazy, at least not yet. 
Even though I think he should just go up, well I guess he cannot go up because the crazy people are up there, or at least they were before I... And I would save because I killed them. Okay, a lot of nice stuff to explore. Take everything. Oh, I can even rest on the medical beds, that's nice. Hey, wait, was there a medical bed in that med bay over there and I was just wasting my time running around, probably. Day 5, carbon monoxide, painkillers, uh, hallucinations, microstroke, lack of sleep. Oh jeez, more aggressive, my nurse. Short on the work shift, finally. Yeah, it looks like things were going very badly. Yeah, they might be actually be they might actually be seeing some kind of a presence. Something terrible behind their backs. So as you can see, that's 15 points to the lock picking, the lock pick. Pulsar, huh? Hello, little beauty. What are you doing over here all alone? Oh, it doesn't do a lot of damage. Weapon power cell. I guess it's a smaller weapon. Okay, it has a piercing shot. It's all targets. It has the kinetic shot. Pushing the targets back. Super sonic strike, really. Effect on self. Stun or self. I don't think I like this weapon. But I like the way it whirls, so that's for everyone. Kinetic shot. I guess that might be useful for later, but for now it doesn't so it doesn't seem that good. Especially comparing it with the firebug. Okay. No relics are untouched. More of the gauntlets, side gloves. Empty relic storage. <laughs> At least it was not empty. I can dismantle the broken terminals? Oh, that's nice. Can I do the same for the broken TV sets? You have to keep that in mind. That's actually a pretty important ability, apparently. Dismantling? <laughs> yeah. If the company asks, well, what happened to all of the terminals and all of the vending machines and all of the items over here? Well, I would say... I don't remember, it was the gas that maybe, maybe not remember stuff and maybe they went crazy, right? Weapon parts. So many big boxes only for a small thing. Yeah, let's use power. Thinning rod. So are some of these items junk parts or not? 
just like a lot of trouble for what you're actually getting. Oh, I like those. Those are coming with me as well. You know what, let's take everything and let's see if we can dismantle some of the stuff. Yeah, we can strip down those things. I'm not sure if you actually require digging in the game. <laughs> I like that they labeled it a quest item. Okay, so we turned on the power on that side. Did we search this gentle gear? I think we did. Uh, let's see before we do anything crazy. Whoa, that's a big relic. Oh, nice. We have another room over here. So far, so good. No people in here, which means we don't have to fight anyone. Temporarily, temporarily. I wonder if there are any permanent buffs. I mean, comics was a nice place, was a nice thing. Reading comics was a nice uh, way to pass the time over here. So we turned on the power over there, now we are using the terminals. Yeah, the game is growing on me, but like I said, this is the best area in the game, maybe. Candy, I never saw candy before. C crayfish candy. Do not actually contain crayfish, okay. Energon. So I guess you can just use the candy as a cheap way to heal while you are traveling around. I can examine this. Okay, not to sell some of the things you can actually scan. We can actually scan some of the other stuff, so that's power terminal number two, number three, where will where will number one be? Okay, we cannot see what was in there, and we cannot scan it. If you break anything, you'll have to pay. Oh, people are alive in here. Pile of crystals. Was that a level up? Yeah, level up, level six. Warning. Lighting disabled in excavation zone. Remaining in the area is hazardous. Please reboot three power circuits and restore power supply. Enabling lighting in the excavation zone. Warning. Damage to power system detected. Start the emergency generator. Uh... Sure, let's speak with these people. Oh, it's the... Okay, it's Louise and uh, Ron are still alive. I was worried for a moment. My teeth are soft like cotton. Yeah, okay. Hi, uh... Uh... Where to search for the relic? I should know something about the relic. Something alive. What is Luis doing? I 
hope to see you again soon. Okay, let's just turn on this thing. What would be the power generator? Well, like this is part of the story to not have light in there. This is a bit scary. Broken relic sphere. Fourth class relic. <sighs> I don't really understand how I am supposed to use my relic pieces. Maybe yeah, I should have scanned that before. And what is the other piece? Maybe I missed a piece somewhere, but I searched everywhere and I have it on video. Could be worth searching for its sister components. Oh, I hope so. Initially I thought you had to put the pieces together, but they don't actually match. I don't know, maybe we'll figure it out, maybe we won't figure it out, does it really matter? Maybe I should have the shotgun ready, or the gun, or the princess. You can see that does a lot more basic damage per attack, while this one is kind of weak anyway. Sure. I don't have a lot of fuel for the thingy. Okay, let's see the first part over here. Otherwise I'll die. Okay, I need to turn on the light or I will die. What a nice way to put it. I guess the darkness is uh, lava. Okay, Mr. Darkness, sorry to disturb you. I see you're no longer my friend. I didn't see any backup generators down here. Warning. Damage to power system detected. Start the emergency. Okay, so we activated that thing over there. What is the emergency generator? I don't remember this one. I don't think there's anything in there. Hmm, curious. Then how do you turn on the power? They have to use the, these things. Power circuit already on. No reboot required. Oh, 
maybe I need to run all the way over there. Okay. Consumed by darkness. That sounds fun. White wing. Dark scab. Next to small pink crabs. Pink pus sipping. Pus sipping flesh is visible beneath. What is your name? Touch the stranger. Is there any point in examining all of them? Well, I guess. Okay, that must have activated the light. I can't feel my legs. Lighting enabled. Have a nice day, employee. Your head is glowing. No, your head is glowing. I guess all of the excavation teams stayed over here. Might get an achievement for touching everyone. Interesting, this is my favorite part almost of the Nashville exploration. If we, if we don't go there, we won't exit here. Yeah, exactly. Milkman, are you milkman? No, I'm not a milkman. I don't remember that looking like that. Okay, I'll just end the video right here and then in the next episode we'll see what's over there. I have to go back and heal. Bye.